Hello, welcome to my NASDAQ YouTube channel. This is Johnny. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use IPv6 on Oracle Cloud infrastructure. On April 15, 2021, Oracle announced Oracle Cloud infrastructure support IPv6. But it is very tricky how you can enable IPv6 in Oracle Cloud. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to enable it, how to assign the IPv6 to your existing instance and the new instance. Let's start it. I already had a couple of videos about Oracle Cloud. You can find out from my video description. So those videos will talk about how to get to free and permanent VPS, how to get your free ARM-based compute instance, and how to get VNC console, and also install AA panel into the ARM-based Oracle instance. This video is going to show you step by step to enable IPv6 segment and assign the IPv6 subnet to your instance. First thing, you, you will need to go to networking. After you logged into your Oracle Cloud account, choose Virtual Cloud Networks. In your Virtual Cloud Networks, you should be able to see one VCN right now. Click on it. At this moment, you can see IPv6 CIDR block is no value, which is not enabled yet. Before we create a subnet, we can go to our CIDR blocks, add a new IPv6 CIDR blocks. So that will enable our IPv6. Basically, you will get the slash 56 IPv6 segment. Since we already have our public subnet, what we can do, we can just add it. We need to enable IPv6 CIDR blocks. So we just add one IPv6 CIDR block into our public subnet. Save change. It's updating. It may take one minute to get this segment ready to use. So now you can see we got our IPv6 CIDR block for this public subnet. There are a couple of more steps we need to do before we can use this subnet. Let's go back to our virtual cloud network details subnet. We're going to check our routing table. So right now we have IPv4 route in our default routing table, but we don't have our IPv6, which we are going to do. Going to add routing tables, IPv6. Target type is Internet Gateway. Destination CIDR block. That means everything, all IPv6 destinations gonna use in target Internet Gateway to go out. Add routing tables. So now we have default IPv6 route. The next step is to create a new security access list to allow inbound and outbound IPv6 traffic. So let's go to the subnet. Security lists here. Default security list. We're going to add um, ingress rule first. So basically, we're going to allow all inbound IPv6 traffic coming. Or protocols. C 
same thing on egress lure. Add a new egress lure. For all IPv6 destination and all protocols. Will be allowed. So that all steps you will need to finish before you can assign the IPv6 IP address to your instance. Let's go back to our compute instance. I'm having a couple of runs. So here is a center OS 7. Let's look at the primary VNIC. Let's scroll down the page into the middle. Then you will see the resources. There's a one resource called Attached VNICs. Click on it. There's a one created VNIC shows on the right of your page. You can click on it. This VNIC was created when you created your instance. On the left page, you will see IPv6 address. If you check IPv4, we already assigned one there. We can assign secondary private IP address. For this video, we can assign IPv6 addresses. So just click Assign IPv6 addresses. You don't need to type anything, just do Assign. Then the new IPv6 IP address has been assigned to it. That's all you need to do in the control panel. Now we're going to log into our center OS 7 machine and complete the all steps. Make sure our compute instance center OS 7 can get the IP from this assigned IPv6 address. Now we just log into this center OS 7. Let's look at the IP address we have right now. For Oracle Cloud CentOS 7 machine, you will get this ENS3 network card. So right now we have 10.0.0.15 IP address, which is IPv4. You can verify that from your control panel. We want to make sure our CentOS 7 also got this IP address. Restart the network service, network card won't work in this situation. You will get an error message. So to make it happen, to make our existing CentOS machine to get the IPv6 IP, we can do this using the command DHC client dash 6 ENS3 network card name. Wait the command finish it, just type IPA again. Now you have this IPv6 address. We can verify that with our control panel. It is exactly the same as shows in the control panel. You may want to try to pin Google.com's IPv6 address. So you could reply back, which confirms it is working IPv6 address. One more thing to do is after your center OS 7 system rebooted, the IPv6 will not automatically acquired. So we have to run a script. Let's do this. And 
gonna write into this command into this rc.d rc.local file you're gonna change it to executable for this file Verify has our command inside of it. So now all step has been done. Hope you liked this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please do. Thank you for watching. Thank you.